Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. One of the best ways to learn about the lives of veterans is through the tools and vehicles they use. And one Kansas veteran's passion for preserving history has turned his garage into a, well, sort of a museum. KSN photojournalist Nick Kiefer and Hannah Adamson have this week's Veteran Salute. A strip or clip of five, 30 out six. At 85 years old, Marine Corps veteran Lauren Anthony is just as young at heart as he was the day he started collecting things. I started collecting things when I was born. If a vehicle got stuck, they helped dig it out. But it's not just anything he collects. World War II just intrigued me. And being in the Marine Corps, then I always lean towards the Pacific campaign. From a 1967 Army ambulance. Kaiser Willie's Jeep ambulance. It would have been like the mash. To a World War II era Jeep. It's 1943 Willie's. After the Army got through with it, they sold it to the Riley Rural Fire Department as a fire truck for 20 years. So when you scratch it, there's red. It was all red at one time. This is a stainless steel like a border. Anthony's collection, a treasure trove of military memorabilia that could make any history buff envious. Need another toy to play with, huh? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, my wife doesn't believe I do. One of his most prized possessions. This machine is an early World War II machine made by a dressograph company that had the, the uh, contract with the government to make dog tags. The cost of this toy. $2,500 plus freight. <laughs> but Anthony doesn't let his toys collect dust. Instead, he repurposes them for a greater cause. I make dog tags for World War II History Center in El Dorado, honor flight. I go up once a year to the <clears throat> POW camp in Concordia and make dog tags. And for the Kansas Honor Flight alone. 2,790 dog tags. Letter by letter. Hey. Punch by punch. The painstaking effort to personalize each one. All right, start over. Worth every second. The last Honor Flight that went, I received a dozen thank you cards from veterans was on that flight that didn't know me from anything, just had the dog tag. And every one of them says, thank you for recognizing us. And as for his vehicles. Does this thing still work? Oh yeah. Anthony takes them out to parades, car shows, and military events. Four-star general, and he was reviewing the troops at Fort Riley. Anthony also turning his vehicles into living history exhibits. I'm taking it to schools, and let all the kids look at it, get in it. Giving history buffs of all ages a chance to step back in time. Veterans, really, they deserve the re all the respect we can give them. I'm gratified to know that I have knowledge about something that people are interested in and, and maybe broaden their knowledge. At least they're getting an idea. They can relate to what was happening in World War II. For Veteran Salute, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Marine Corporal Lauren Anthony. Corporal Anthony, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Thank you for this award, and I plan to uh, for pay it forward to the Kansas Honor Flight. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.